India. And it's famous because it contains one of the highest mountains on Earth, the Mount Everest. Um, next to that, it also suffers from earthquakes, landslides, and floods. So it's also relatively poor. Um, as our location, we chose a village called Jubei. Um, it's a small village and it's on uh, the trekking route to the Himalayas. Um, as you can see, it's a very it's a rural area with a lot of vegetation, and um, most people also live from agriculture. Um, the climate in Jobin can be classified as temperate. This means that the temperatures differ from minus five to twenty degrees. Uh, however, the nights are always very cold. Um, they also have the monsoon season in the summer months of July and August. Um, because of these conditions, um, we need to have a good insulation because the nights are very good. Um, because of the risk of earthquakes, we need to have a safe um, and strong construction. And um, we want to create um, energy by PV panels. Because of the difficulties with local transport and local infrastructure, we want to use local materials and there needs to be a good water collection system because of the monsoon. Um, here you can see our site plan. As you can see, we really wanted to use the shape of the terraces. Um, this resulted in a long shape of the buildings. And the next advantage of the long shape is that we can optimal profit from the sun. Um, the sun shines like it from this side. And um, uh, from this side, and this is the front side. So a lot of sun and in our building the whole day. Thank you. Um, our first concept was to build our building on piles. This has several advantages. The first one is that um, we can deal with the different elevations um, of the terraces, and uh, landslide and monsoon rain can um, rush beneath the piles. Um, because of the earthquakes, it should also be a one-story building with lightweight materials. Um, and it should, of course, be easy to build for the locals. Yeah. Here you can see our uh, floor plan. We want to build a school for approximately 100 children with three classrooms. Therefore, we need three teachers who should also be able to live in the building. And it's, everything is connected with a very bright corridor over here. And there's a community hall where people can come together or it can be used as an extra classroom. Um, because of the risk of earthquakes, um, we should provide optimal safety. So we wanted to use a lot of um, entrances to the building. Here is the teacher's exit. This is the main entrance and this is uh, an extra, um, extra safety exit. Yeah. Um, this is our front view. Um, over here you can see a big line of uh, a lot of windows, so a lot of light can enter our building. Over here is the community hall, it will also be a bright space um, of the building. This is um, a section. Um, over here you can see that we chose to have a one-sided roof. Um, like this, the light can enter the building from here and um, it will still be steep enough to uh, collect all the water at the other side of, um, of the roof. Here you can see again that we built our building on piles and that it's one story. Okay. Um, this is our construction <coughs> scheme. Um, we decided to build the entire structure from timber and we want to use local timber trees. The trees over there are, are mostly oak species which can be um, classified as hardwood, so it will be really useful. Um, yeah. This is a detail of our foundation. Um, we want to build um, a concrete footing with some stones in it and a wooden post on top of it. There will be a connection with a metal strip which can be connected to the wooden post with nails. This is our floor structure. We uh, chose for a wooden uh, substructure to divide the loads to the neighboring columns. Um, and on top of that will be timber sheeting, sheeting and a um, layer of clay for insulation and another a layer of timber sheeting as a cover. <coughs> This is our wall structure. Um, between the columns will be a network of branches to provide um, stability and strength. And on top of that will be two layers of cake on each side. Um, as we can use it as a plaster. Um, and in winter time we can add straw bales at the side. Um, they can use they can function as uh, an insulation material. 
Here you can see our roof structure. We chose to have a bamboo roof because it's very lightweight. And an extra advantage is that the pipes can serve, um, can act as a pipe so that the water can easily flow away to the other side of the roof. Underneath the bamboo structure will be a straw, a straw layer for insulation and there will be a, a wooden truss structure um, as to support the whole thing. Yeah. Here you can see the truss structure again and some um, connection detail. You want to use a very sophisticated way of connection. It's a Japanese connection. You can easily make a gap in this beam and put it together and connect it with screws or nails. <coughs> this is another connection detail for our, um, the columns and the beams. We will use it in every, every uh, connection point. And we could just use um, L-shaped strips. You can import them and connect the strips to the beams with um, nails or screws. This is our water collection system. As I told you, the water will be collected um, via the roof and it will end up in one big storage tank of 3,000 liters, which will be built on piles, as you can see here. There will be uh, a pipe to the sanitary um, and the kitchen, but there will also be a, a, a daily storage tank inside the building of 300 liters. Uh, it will be inside so it can be relatively warm. Yeah. This is our energy system. Um, we want to use PV panels and we need um, approximately two of these systems. And it will be enough to lighten the building. Um, and we will also have a battery for some extra energy storage. And the whole system will be built not on top of the roof but next to it. That's again for safety. We're not going to heat the building by energy but um, with an oven. It's a traditional way of heating and it can be built um, out of clay. It will be put in the middle of the, of the building in a community hall so that it can be heated from the center. Um, as a sanitary system we will use a dry toilet system. Okay, this was, that was everything I wanted to tell you today. Thank you for your attention.